Tonight, we're learning more about Saturday's deputy-involved shooting in Winton. The Merced County Sheriff's Office identifying the suspect killed as 17-year-old Jonathan Duarte. CBS 47's Ben Morris joins us now live from the Merced Sheriff's Office for more on the investigation and the suspect in Saturday's shooting. Ben. Merced County Sheriff Vern Warnke says they're still searching for other individuals with him the day of the shooting. There are other uh, people that fled that vehicle. Uh, right now, they're people of interest. Uh, the only suspect in the case was the one that fired at the deputy, and uh, we've got that situation taken care of. Monday afternoon, a vigil for Jonathan Daniel Diaz Duarte or Danny could be seen at the corner of Susie and Walnut. That's where the sheriff says on Saturday, Diaz exited this vehicle and fired at a deputy, hitting her ear before being shot and killed. It's also the site of a Sunday night shootout that the sheriff suspects is gang related and likely tied to the Saturday deputy involved shooting. There was nobody taken into custody on that and it was uh, two factions. I understand it was the Wild West. Uh, there were shots being fired every where nobody got hit. We don't even have a suspect in this matter yet. We caught up with Danny's sister, Itzel, coming out to the vigil to pay her respects today. I just wish everybody could have gotten to meet him and get on his good side because he was really a good boy, even though he made some dumb decisions. He was just the sweetest boy you could ever imagine. Diaz tells us Danny had just gotten out of juvenile hall, only getting his ankle bracelet off a day before he was killed. His family loves him, you know, and I wish he would have done something to change himself before it got this far. As for the deputy shot in the ear before returning fire and killing Diaz, Sheriff Warnke says she is working to make a comeback soon. She did everything uh, the way somebody wearing this brand should operate. and She's, uh, she's very, very uh, substantial here and we're very proud of her. The Merced County Sheriff's Office is still looking for surveillance video of both incidents. You can find a link to submit that on our website, yourcentralvalley.com. In Merced, Ben Morris, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.